Alright then gang, so hopefully by now you should be getting a little used to creating widgets and creating very very simple layouts using a row or a column or a combination of both. Now what I'd like to do is just sidestep for a few minutes and show you a few shortcuts and other tricks. I was just going to show these in different videos but I thought it would be best to have a whole video to show you how to do this. So first of all I want to show you the action menu for each different widget that we create. So we can see down here we've created all these different widgets, right? And say in the future I wanted to place, for example, padding around one of them or I wanted to move it down the widget tree somewhere else and swap it with another one. Well, that would be a lot of cutting and a lot of pasting and a lot of editing and it would be nice if there was a quicker way to do this. And fortunately, thanks to this action menu for each different widget, there is a quicker way to do this. So say, for example, I wanted to swap this container with this container. Well, what I could do is I could just click on this container and then see this little light bulb. That is the action menu for this widget. So if I click on this, now I can see all of these different actions I can perform for this widget. So I could say, for example, move widget down. So if I do that, it's going to move it down underneath the other widget. So now it's second over here. And likewise, I could grab this one, click on that and the action menu and then I could go to move widget up like that. Awesome, right? So that's a quick little shortcut. Now, say for example, I want to add some padding around this one. Well, I could just click on this, go to the action menu and say add padding. And now we have padding around this thing over here. And it's also applied the padding property for us with some edge insets. So I could just change this if I wanted to. I'm going to save this and now we can see padding around that element. The second one right here. Now if I want to remove the padding I could do I could just go to here and I could scroll down here and say replace widget with its children. So that is basically going to replace whatever this widget is that we're on the action menu for with whatever its child is. So let me click on this again replace widget with its children and it now removes that padding. That's pretty nice right? Okay so let me go and add padding to the top one over here. I'm going to add padding and then I'm going to click on the padding again and click on this action menu and then I'm going to go to wrap with new widget and now it's wrapped in a new widget which I can call for example container. So now we're wrapping the padding in a container. I know that doesn't make much sense. I'm just demonstrating what we can do with this action menu here, the different shortcuts that we can take. Okay, let me control Z a few times just to get rid of that padding and the container. So let's see what else we can do. I'm going to click on this container again, go to the action menu. And now I'm going to center the widget. So if we want to centralize something, we can wrap it in a center widget and it does exactly the same. It puts the container inside the child of this element or this widget rather. So let me undo that again. And let's have a look at what else we can do. I'm going to now say wrap with a row. So now it puts it inside a row and we have children with a list of widgets and inside that we have the container. So pretty awesome, right? These are pretty nice shortcuts for things that we might do quite commonly and they're going to save us a lot of cutting and pasting and editing and all that jazz. So that's really nice. Now we can also access these shortcuts from this thing over here, the flutter outline. So first of all, this gives us a nice visual representation of our widget tree because it shows the different widgets that we have and when they're nested it means it's a child widget of the parent above it. So say for example we want to do something with this column widget over here or this container widget we can just select that and it automatically goes to that in the code so that's nice first of all and then we can right click and we can do the same kind of thing over here. So all of the different things we had over here we can now do over here as well and we also have shortcuts at the top, these little buttons. That one is for centralizing it, putting a center widget around it. This one is to add padding. This one is to wrap it with a column. This one a row and so forth. And also move up and down right here, okay? So I know this was just a short little video, but I really wanted to show you these different shortcuts because it's going to save us a lot of time and I'm going to be using them in the future as well. So I wanted you to be quite familiar with them and not thinking, hang on, when I use one in the future. 
So now we know how to do that. In the next video, what I'd like to talk about is expanded widgets, which is another layout widget and also the flex property.